Hello everyone, welcome back to another spicy Tempest Trial run. Um, I brought Link here with me since Arvis is the Tempest Trial final boss. Who would have been a perfect fit other than Link? So say hi, Link. Arvis did nothing wrong. Indeed. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I don't like the background music. Yeah, turn it down. I can actually hear it. So <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna be using the um. Duo that I got. What do you think about the um, duo so far, Link? You know what? As much as I don't like Sigurd, this has been like a long time coming. So I'm gonna let him off the hook here. I'm gonna say, all right, you know, you can have this one. You know, I'll take my L this time. I'll sit back and wait patiently for my Arvis alt. <laughs> You're just like seething in rage right now. I'm like, not gonna lie. I'm a little bit envious that all of the mains got alts and then like the villains are kind of just sitting there in the bag being like, but what about us? <laughs> But we've been asking for genealogy alts for three and a half years, and we finally got a genealogy alt banner, so I guess I have to be happy. And the art's really good. So yeah. That's a... oh my god, I love the artwork. They made this so pretty. And I mean, when I, I mean they, I, I was say wondering, Deirdre. <laughs> I was wondering what your thoughts are on like her hair being drawn in this style as opposed to the other one. What do you think about that? My god, this one she looks like the cloud floof that she always had, like in the um. Which one's the one? Not like you know how there's like the the treasure book from like FE4 that it has mm -hmm. like her hair kind of short and then or is it the other one? There's like two artworks that have her like the really long hair, and there's like another one that has like the short hair. Her cipher art has her having really long hair sometimes too. Yeah, and then like her end game, like sprite, she has like the the short hair. But I like mm -hmm. this one. No... I like this one more. Yeah. Than. Than the other than the normal heroes version, to be honest. Yeah, this one I don't know. It just flows nicely because the old one is just. Let me see. There she is. Oh my God! You have so many extras. I know. I should just plus ten another one. I'm pretty close to it. I just need like five more copies. That's like me and Brave Hector. I, I have <laughs> enough to plus five a Brave Hector. Like I like it right here. How it can like floop up like that. But of course, this this seems more realistic actually. It looks more like spaghetti hair here. Like, that's exactly what, if you have really long curly hair, that's exactly what it would look like. Yeah. I don't know, like, if you look at your profile picture, it looks more like the, um, the new art mm -hmm. than this one. You never know, she might get a, a resplendent. Like I mean, how about that resplendent Julia? Oh my god, I was talking with Tacho about that the other day, and we're, we're just like, oh, what if they just like release a duo Dear Hero Julia, and then like we're banking it more on Julia because she's so popular in Bay for some reason? I don't know why. It <laughs> makes no sense. I mean, she lacks authority in like the, in FE4 itself, like she doesn't contribute too much other than like the fine tour in the final chapter literally that's when she gets the most screen time it's legit all she does and she's like overpowered because of the tome but who plays through fe4 and is like you know what julia that one that's the most popular character like <laughs> nobody does that <laughs> they're like let's get let's let her master the weapon triangle and give her a color each yeah i i was surprised i actually i'm not a huge fan of the art of the resplendent julia to be honest yeah, I've heard people say that. They're like, oh my god, her eyes are so like freakishly huge and stuff, and she looks like those creepy dolls or something. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, little little ice girl. I wrote a description for it this morning that I was proud of. Let me read it to you and see what you think. Oh uh, no. She looks like someone who's been hidden away under the bed eating crumbs for the last 10 years. That's what she looks like to me. Understandable. I'm not gonna deny it. I'm just like, oh, okay, understandable. Oh, but she looks so cute. Like the way, like she's like holding her dress, and oh my god, I think it's adorable. But uh, there's people out there who don't don't see it that way. Can't believe those like people me. chose to be blind. I hope they get better soon. Oh no. <laughs> and I think, oh no. Yeah, this is probably the part when people are gonna start like throwing rocks at me or something. Are offering you their glasses. Yeah, you need this. 
<laughs> I have my own, thank you very much. But yeah, we're gonna be going through this with Girls Night Out. I'm gonna be using um, this corn I got from my... It was supposed to be Mila Summoning, but I ended up with two corns, and she's pretty good. Yeah, 182 BSD. What's not to like? No, 185 BST. Is she 185? I thought she was 182. Yeah, and then like I think what a she has a super boon and attack, I believe, and she cracks it to like 186. And I'm kinda like, geez. Yeah, I see the new Erica resplendent. Yeah, maybe I can actually make it work. We can forget about the the the, the really bad showcase I did. And then my Lena, the, the healer, the sabotage bot. I have summoners. like 12 copies of her. Do you want some? Oh, uh, that was possible. Like when you were trying to shoot for Julian and I was getting like a lot of Julians, I would have gladly traded them. I'd just been like, here, just take it, Link. Oh my god. Oh my god, maybe IS will implement a trading system in like two more years. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, I can hope. We just have to get the start, so we're gonna start with mad bonus stats. The us. What do you think about the other characters that were introduced in the banner? Let me actually pull them up oh, so God. that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but in terms of characters, like, yeah, it was all pretty predictable, not gonna lie. Like, once you have all the lords, like, it's Sigurd, Eldigan, and Quan. The three musketeers. Right, and then it's there, you know, there's significant others. You've got Sigurd and Deirdre, you've got Quan and Ethlyn, you've got Eldigan and Lachesis. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's Dancer Banner, you know. Yeah, they kind of stuck with, like, royalty. I don't blame them. Yeah, I would have liked to see, like, some out of left field picks. Like, maybe they put, like, Azel and Aideen on it instead. Mm hmm. I wonder when is Aideen going to be in the game? I feel like she should have been in a long time ago. Yeah, it's weird. Like, you think of, like, genealogy, and the first two characters you meet are, like, Aideen and Medir. You don't see them. Or Azel and Lex. Like, it's so iconic. Or yeah. the two Christmas calves. Yeah, when I was seeing this so long, even Lex. He, I mean, he had, like, the Brave Axe well, once you got it, but... How, were the, how are they going to top that axe and Faye? I wonder, they might just give them, make them ridiculously slow and extremely physically defensive, something. Yeah, it's weird. I, I would think they would just, it would be like Reinhardt's weapon, but probably better just because of power creep, right? Yeah. They're probably just going to dump his speed stat, if that's the case. Oh, for sure. I mean, he's not very fast in FE4 anyways. Yeah. So. Watch them give him, like, Hell Swath or something, and people are going to be like, what? <laughs> what? I would be I would be okay with that, because in, in, I mean, he can't. He no one can get it, it in FE4. Right? Yeah, well, his brother has it, and you kill him. Yeah. Too bad you never it, have it on your side. his brother or his uncle? I can't remember. Wasn't it no, his dad? No, it's his brother. Oh. Well, his dad, his dad has it, and then in Gen two, his his older brother has it, right? You can kill his older yeah. brother in Gen two. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Dreaming of victory. Yeah, but no one can wield it because no one inherits the holy blood, which is like a shame, but yeah. understandable at the same time. They got to keep it realistic. They get rid of the bad guys. They were the bad guys. They were the bad guys. Another one I'm surprised isn't in the game yet is Ishtar, Ishtar's brother. Hmm. I feel like they'd probably shaft him and make him like a Grand Hero battle unit or something. I mean, yeah, but it would make sense for him to be here. Which way to go? Let's not sleep Last dance. If people remember. For the people. Don't not off now. Or Hilda, they should put Hilda in the game. She's oh, despicable. God, yeah. <laughs> She's terrible. I feel like they'd make her like super hot and fan servicey though. Maybe they'd probably use that. You know that one swordsmaster like you fight in like was it like chapter three or something that it looks like a younger version of Hilda? I think so. Is it in the snow chapter? No. Is it? Or is it in chapter three? I don't remember. There's like one sword uh sword master lady that looks like a younger Hilda and people like I think I remember them they were speculating that maybe Hilda was supposed to make an appearance in the first gen. Oh. That's just how yeah, I, I don't know. I can't remember. It's one of those chapters. 
But yeah, they'll probably make her and then watch them give her like Bowen own plus or something. <laughs> no, she's a female character. She's automatically gonna get something good. Tier four skill. Have Grand Hero battles gotten any good skills yet? Um. Hmm. Nothing that's coming to mind. I mean, oh, I'm thinking Tempest Trial because Tempest Trial. All I'm thinking is that the Darus is like axe. That's like really good for some reason. Oh, that one's amazing. That one's a good one. That's like a really generous weapon that they've given us. Mm. And then Eldigan's weapon. I've heard it's pretty good because it's um melee based. So you could probably um stack it with uh the deflect melee seals or something. Your hand. Yeah, cause but it, it, the thing that's weird about these these ones is it, it's only producing damage from the first attack if your foe can follow up. So you have to kind of be like a slow unit for this to work. Be careful. That's exactly how they made the units. Like I think Lakeesa is slow as all heck. I haven't really checked. Is she? I have it open. Let's take a look. Cause I know Eldigan's slow. Yeah, she has twenty seven speed, and Sigurd's really slow. I think Ethlyn's the only one that's fast. Yeah, and then hers has like inbuilt follow no follow up, so Yeah, hers is really good for an inheritable dagger. Mm hmm Which is kinda surprising. Like they they really Yeah, attack speed plus five during combat and null follow up. That's that's nuts. That's really good. And then the other ones are like ah. And And it's refinable. Ooh. Keep moving forward. They really nailed it by being inheritable too. Mm-hmm. What can you stack up with that then? No follow up? You probably put like no disrupt or something. Yeah, I guess you could. Or just stick with Mystic Boost. Yeah, I'm thinking like no follow up, you'd probably want it as like an anti armor skill for the most part. I'm not really well educated in the Fey meta these days. It's mostly people who are like inherently fast normally though. Mm hmm. So I feel like null follow-up isn't really used much anymore. So that's why they might just be putting it on weapons. That's funny because I feel like you needed more with all these units having like um, guaranteed follow-up effects and stuff. Which way to go? I guess, yeah, I guess you could be right. This might be difficult. And also IS has been on the trend of doing the if foes HP is um no, like right here. They've been a big fan of doing the, if foe's HP is 100% or foe initiates combat, something happens, like you get stats or inflict minus attack and defense. Like, they've been doing that a little bit too much. That's getting kind of boring. Yeah, freaking Brave Hector's refine was busted. He got like a whole set in one unit. He has like an A skill, a B skill, a C skill. Yeah, he's got like six effects on the weapon. It's nuts. <laughs> Yeah, I used him in Ether Race this week, and like, it, he's finally viable now in Thracer week. He used to be amazing, like, way back when I was actually still competing in Ether Raids. Like, Hector was the only reason I could do that because he just tanked everything, but then he just, you know, power creep. Yeah, once I think once Thracer like came out, that's when I, it all went downhill for me and Astra because I had nothing that can counter the her B skill and like the automatic follow up and the flashing blade four and she just does so much damage. Yeah. I had nothing to counter then. I was just like, fuck this game. This is a bad game. Go. I'm not gonna try anymore. This might be difficult. Yeah, maybe I will try again one of these weeks with Hector. It might be fun. It really is. <laughs> and one thing that like I forgot about his weapon effect is that when he when the foe initiates combat or something he neutralizes his penalties oh yeah Keep that's what i forgot and i was like because oh. i was worried about the um the shrines debuffing him and it's almost like you, you are aware that his weapon um nullifies it right and i was like oh. yeah it's great he legitimately can't be debuffed although i wonder how that works with panic does Panic qualify under that? That's what I was thinking. I kept thinking, like, does that mean he neutralizes Panic? Maybe someone's tried it. Someone can tell us. <laughs> I mean, I could try it. You can try it? All right. 
I don't have my phone with me, so I'm not, and I'm probably not going to walk over and get it. But <laughs> understandable. I could try it. Yeah, just this Corrin does so much damage. This Corrin's really nuts, and it, it sucks facing her in uh, like arena assault when like you're just trying to do the dailies. I got one on the legendary banner. I um, I pulled and I got a free Bramamond, and then I was like, I think this is a sign. So I, I continued pulling on the circle, and then I got a Milla on the same circle. And I was like, okay, maybe I should go for another Milla so I can have like super easy mode in Aether Raids. And then I kept going, and I got up to like 12% pity, and then Corrin broke it. And I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. So yeah, She's I actually have one. not bad. She's pretty good. Yeah, mine's minus attack. I don't know if I'll ever use her though. You know, he's fought her for that um, joint drive attack. That's pretty good. That's a really good one. Yeah, she's got DC too, so that's nice. I really like this negating thing. It's really neat. It's pretty disgusting. Yeah, breathes new life into the the um, the shield skills. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just don't like all the mitigation skills that they've been pumping out recently. Not a big fan. It's power creep, all right. I guess has to make money. Can't you see they're poor? I think they're just making, they're making so much money that they're trying. They've started to back off making money. <laughs> there she goes, getting her negating thing every single turn in enemy phase. Yup. Well, it's because like she shield pulses at the beginning. And she's got like cooldown cycling too. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even need shield pulse, really. Yeah, probably replace it with like. It's a good. Please, maybe like null follow up or something, and that's a thing. Can dragons get null follow up? I don't think so. I think it's. Or maybe they can. I think they can. Wait, yes, they can, because um, it came with the the drift corn, the male one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're I'm right. thinking of like wrath. Dragons can't get wrath? No, they can't get wrath. I don't think they can get they I don't think they can get close call or spurn either. See that annoys me. Locking skills from units that they shouldn't be locked from is just weird. Yeah, dragons like, just aren't this? interesting anymore. When was the last time we had like a good dragon refine? And I'm not talking about like I know female corn, the original corn's there, but that I didn't like it that much. I thought it was too basic. Yeah, I guess it was because dragons were just too strong at one point, right? Yeah, all they need is um the steady breath. I don't even see steady breath used anymore. That's how like outdated I think it is. Yeah, now it's all about repel, close call, spurn. No follow up. The meta shift and now everyone has the infantry units. <laughs> Well, infantry units, like the new Dimitri has 176 BST. That's more than my brave Hector. I'm praying for you. And he's infantry. And he's infantry. Anyways, I killed Harden. That's a lot of res. Yeah, you ex you did you exact damaged him. I know. I feel like they should have just made Deirdre the main one because her those stats are literally like Deirdre's stats. Yeah, they are. You're right. But Sigurd's the lord, so you know how it works. Yeah, that's why I put the mask on him. Just to cover him up. <laughs> Give Deirdre her, her time to shine. Yeah. She runs with the horse. That's how Look strong she is. what they did is. to my poor Arvis. He's nowhere near as menacing. <laughs> I know. Arvis versus a, a Gen 4 unit. Although I will say, I do like how the map is lined up like Belhalla. I know. And with, with the torches leading right down there, it's like, haha. I was, I was tripping balls when I saw that. I was like, no, they really did not do this. Someone sent it to me immediately in there. Like, <laughs> and I was like dying of laughter. I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Wait, well, weren't we talking about saying, I was like, oh, what if they made like Arvis the Tempest Trial boss? <laughs> And yeah, then... I think we were joking about that, and they actually did do <laughs> they it. They actually did do it! It makes sense. Absolute tragedy. 
this corn is so great. How am I ever gonna use the the original corn now? I have her at plus ten. Like how? Yeah, I don't know. This one is just like this one has more base stats than the original when it plus ten, right? Yeah, like if you really want to make the original corn, I guess the almost the same. You have to like give her like plus fifteen, and at that point, I think she ends up faster than than the legendary corn, but the legendary corn has so much more attack. Yeah, she needs a resplendent, really. Mm -hmm. How have they not given her one? She might be next. I bet Ias is listening. The next one's gonna they be probably don't want to stack. They probably don't want to stack too many corns in the same month. What are you talking about? Everyone loves Corrin. Can't you see she has like 10 ults? Yeah, she's got a lot of ults. <laughs> Keep moving forward. Your hand. <laughs> Dreaming of victory. I'm just having this Corrin like face tank everything. I've noticed you're just kind of like flopping her in there like, okay, Corrin, <laughs> do your thing. Negating Fang. One shot back. Take like zero damage or like one or two. Great. I could probably solo Lunatic with Hector now, with his Refine, just by himself, auto-battling. What a time to have Fae Pass. You still have Fae oh, Pass. I, I never have had Fae Pass. Oh, that sucks. I'm free to play. Oh, nice. Someone has the decency. Which way to go? But not a well, degenerate they, like, like they me. haven't... They haven't given me a reason to spend. None of the units I want are in the game. <laughs> oh. Like, they put in Arvis. Arvis is a GHB. And then I just started saving my orbs. Like, when Hector, Brave Hector came around, I was like, I guess I'll plus 10 him. I had more than enough. This and then I was starting to get really bored of the game. So when Edelgard came out, I was like, I guess I'll plus 10 her. Hmm. And Are you then still bored of the game now? Out, I, like, I don't derive enjoyment from playing the game. Like, I'll collect orbs and I'll pull for units, but I don't find myself, like, turning to this game to give me enjoyment, if that makes sense. Oh, no, I guess it does. Keep moving forward. Don't like, I just now. do my auto-dispatch and ether people. raids these days, which I know to your viewers is probably blasphemous. No, I and, think like, I've I had people my... do it, too. Yeah, I do my arena run, just my 5, and I bounce between 19 and 20, although I did get my first crown last week because I have a plus 10 geese. Oh yeah, you told me about that. He's insane. He's nuts. <sighs> those weapons were really good. <laughs> the pirate yeah. banner weapons, those were so good. That was crazy. Whoever thought that was a good idea, I don't think it was a good idea. <sighs> Look what they released. Oh my god, I fought a plus 10 geese. It kind of looked like yours and it had like repel and it was like so hard to take down. I was like, what is this? Yeah, I haven't given mine repel yet. I do have a fallen Ike lying around, so I could technically do it, but I haven't had a reason to do it yet. Please, lead on. It's really, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe if I decide to incorporate him into my ether raid defense or something like that, I'll do it. But as, as of now, I don't really have any plans for him. He's just kind of sitting there. <laughs> oh, that's tragic. I mean, I guess he could be a good Aether Raids unit. Yeah, you could probably stack. Um, if you use those defense mythics or something, boost up his speed. Or with, like, with peonies. And yeah, make him ridiculously need... fast. He's got, like, 47 speed right now, so... Yeah, that rings a bell, the, the one I fought in, um, Arena. Yeah. And then he'd have the, like, speed res solo and then the plus six from buffs. Like, he can stack a lot of speed. Jeez. He's a good unit. I'm happy that they made him pretty decent. I was kind of upset at first that he didn't have like a unique weapon or any unique skills or whatever, but uh, I guess he turned out fine. Yeah. Also, for being an infantry lance, we don't have any of those. 
Well, free to play, I mean. Well, yeah, Dimitri came out shortly after that and he changed the landscape completely. He's like the only one at like tier one, probably. Yeah, I saw my defense lost to a plus four Dimitri today who just tanked my Edelgard and I was really sad. God, Repel-like skills are one hell of a drug. Yeah, his thing was like, he got debuffed by my um, my defensive structures. So he had like 46 base defense. He went down the minus six to 40. And that minus six gets flipped to like a plus 18, doesn't it? Because it nullifies and then it adds to 12. That's how the unity skill works, right? Yeah, it works like Ike's skill, I believe. Um, Fallen Ike's. Yeah, so he ended up having like six or seven more defense than my Edelgard, which gave him the mitigation, so he tanked her. I was like, really? When power creep has gone so far that the weapon triangle doesn't even matter. My Edelgard has like 72 attack on initiation, and she doubled. <laughs> and she had a lull. She had lull attack defense on her, and he, and he still didn't die. Uh, sound right. <laughs> Which way go? It was crazy. I had to like pause, go back, watch it again, and do the calculations because I couldn't believe it. Oh my god, what do you think is gonna happen? How much? How more badly will Power Creep get next year? Oh, I, I think that I think they have to do it. They gotta sell the units somehow. If that's how brave Dimitri is, how do you think legendary Dimitri will be? Hot take, I think he's actually not going to be as good. Let's not sleep, let us dance. Guide me. Keep moving forward. Yeah, how can you really talk that beast skull? Uh. Well, because also think about it this way. Who's better, legendary, legendary Edelgard or brave Edelgard? Some people beg to defer that legendary is still good. I oh, think she's the still good. I think the consensus is that the brave one is better. I promise. I agree. I think legendary is still good because she can like stack the gale force, so she can act like three times in one turn, which is really cool. Yeah. I think that's her selling point. Like, sure, she's all axe, and like I guess those two are armors, but they each have their own niche. Yep. The brave one is just really, really good. This might be difficult. Jeez. So what units do you want in the game now, these days? I want another Deirdre ult where she's alone, and then I can slap her in my defense team. <laughs> Let us dance. I'm praying for as long as she's infantry, because I run an infantry pulse team. So what weapon type would she have, though? Like, what kind of unit would she be? Maybe they can make her a staff unit. I mean, she does wield a staff. And yeah, that's a, that's a good point. How would they incorporate silence in the game, the silence staff? Hmm. hmm. Well, silence blocks magic. For the Please, lead on. So maybe... I don't know, that's a tough one. Would you give extra res to units? Would you give guard against magic units? Like, staffs are hard, because you, you like they're not traditionally that great unless you're talking like Brave Veronica. Yeah. Oh yeah, what do you think about the... I know we talked about Hector, because Hector got the best refine, but what do you think about the other ones? I think Celica's was really good. Mm -hmm. I like Celica's. I think the other two are kind of eh. Like, Ephraim has null follow-up in his weapon, which is nice, but it's like, whatever. Oh, I, I forget. I completely forgot about Ephraim, so I thought it was really forgettable. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I mean, it's understandable because he was the second place, and the second place ones usually don't get great refines. So I guess that's why him and Veronica were kind of like, eh. But yeah, no, Hector's was busted and Celica's is really good. I heard people got like a little upset because um, 
Resplendent Alm came out, but it came out at the same time as Celica's Refine, and her Refine is just inherently better than the the double falchion Refine that regular Alm gets. I don't know. Alm can quad. Can Celica quad? Yes, yeah, she can. With her B skill. But that's because of her B skill. Yeah. Alm can do it without the B skill. Yeah, he just used to be at 100%. Yeah. So I don't know. I think there's like trade-offs to both. Because you can give Alm whatever B skill you want. Yeah, and then usually they slight Mystic boost on him so he can recover the the HP he lost. That's smart. Or they slap Renewal on him, but that means you can only use um, the Brave effect every odd turn. Yeah, he's pretty okay. I'm not. I wasn't too excited at his Resplendent. I figured someone else could have gotten it, to be honest. Who do you think are good candidates for the Resplendent? Not Lords. I know Lords are the most popular units and they're the ones who win CYL every year, but someone like a Sophia who got a Resplendent out of nowhere, legitimately, like there was no good reason to give a Sophia a Resplendent. But that was refreshing because her art, I, I don't want to say needed it because I hate saying art is bad because art is so su subjective. Like yeah. it's hard to say art is good or bad. But the majority of people would have said art, her art needed a, a, a touch up. Someone like Alm had fantastic art already. He didn't really need the touch-up. The plus two to all stats is probably nice because it's a Gen 1 unit. Yeah. But other than that, like I would think, you know, Reinhardt, for example, deserves a Resplendent. He's like the main Lord of Thracia. Um, <laughs> I liked Olwen's Resplendent. That one was a nice touch because she looks awesome with the, with the Resplendent. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of people were saying she got cake. She did, and I I have a weakness to women in white, so that to me was just like, oh, I wish I had an old one. <laughs> I had one, and now like I got the free one, so I just merged her, and she's plus speed now. So I'm kind of like, okay, I'm not gonna use you, but okay, you're nice to have. Yeah, she looks really nice and a resplendent. She I remember Sophie. how like the first ones to come out were Lynn and Cordelia, and it, they like nailed it right just to sell a waifu and new clothes. They're like, yep. how how do we introduce this new feature? <gasps> Let's get the two most popular women in fate in Fire Emblem and slap new clothes on them that look really good. Well, I'm surprised they didn't go with Lucina or Corin first. Dreaming of victory, please lead guide me. Or second. Yeah. Okay. Like Lynn, fine, I get it. But like Lucina was the winner of CYL one, the second place. Why wouldn't they go with Lucina? Cordelia is still a good pick, I mean, for popularity, and I think that's actually a less boring pick than Lucina, but you gotta wonder, when are Lucina and Krom gonna get their resplendence? Because you know that's gonna happen. Especially Krom. Like, Lucina's artwork, the Gen 1 artwork, it's good, but Krom's looks really, like, outdated, if that's it, for lack of better terms. I guess. I mean, they both could have nice resplendence. And they both have decent starting artwork, it's not terrible. Someone like Rebecca needs it, for example. Oh, That's yeah. who needs a resplendent. Like Elliewood getting a resplendent? Okay. That one was good. Elliewood just it breathed new life into him. Well the the Durandal were fine, yeah, but then the the resplendent just gave him all the extra stats. Yep. Elliewood is such a good unit for someone who's available at three star. You know, he just completely There's like no point in using Brave Roy now because he's so limited. Yeah, maybe we'll get a Brave oh, Roy Resplendent. You. Can you imagine a Brave Resplendent? Okay, Brave Hector Resplendent. I'll take it. Maybe I'll buy Fae Pass. <laughs> I'll stop being pre free to play. If Arvis gets a Resplendent, I might have to buy Fae Pass. Oh my god. Wouldn't it be cool if they did Resplendent, like Grand Hero Battle Units, to at least give them a, a an extra boost, because they really need it? I don't think Please, it's going to happen, but, but we can we can hope. If it did happen, it would probably happen to someone. It, it'd happen to a female character for sure. Like maybe Ursula would get one. Who else do we have who's like a female? Aversa might get one because she's really popular. Or female Robin. Female Robin does need a resplendent. She, she just, she's just bad. Yeah. The only thing I can make her usable, like I have her like at plus seven because I think I wanted to plus center. I like I like female Robin, but 
even with triangle adept, yeah. she still can't hold up against those plus 10 like legendary alms and the, the croms. Remember when Robin used to be meta against Takami way back when? <laughs> I wasn't there, but I know that the triangle the build and like the bow breaker build. Oh my god, Raven TA was actually relevant back then. And then especially, now, oh sorry, especially go like Spring Camilla used to be one of the biggest meta units because like you'd go Raven TA and you'd tank both Reinhardt and Takumi. It was like revolutionary back then. <laughs> I guess times were simpler back then. Which way to go? When Reinhardt initially came out, it was before skill inheritance, and people said Reinhardt was bad because he had low speed. <laughs> and then a couple months later, they added skill inheritance, and everyone was like, oh crap, Reinhardt's amazing now because you can give him death blow. <laughs> Oh, that must have been a fun time to be around. Oh yeah, and when Quicken Pulse came out during the first Tempest trial, and then people would slap that on Reinhardt for the QP Moonbow build. <laughs> Damn. And then now you get all that in like one weapon. Pretty much. Absolutely foul. But now I guess we get like cool refines. So like if Reinhardt ever gets a refine now, it's gonna be totally broken because they've waited so long to give him a refine that they can only give him a good one. <laughs> They're gonna be like built-in death blow. Something uh, honestly, I would do that. Or they would give him like built-in mirror impact or something like that. Or even like low attack res. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And people See, be like, that's... what? That's it? And then it turns out it's really good. <laughs> yep. That's where IS messed up. IS should have refined Reinhardt way earlier so that his refine in the long run ends up being not very good. And then if they do that, that means Olin can also get the refine and she might breathe new life. I think they should give them separate Dire Thunder refines and not have it be the same one. Which way to go? You think they do that? I think that would be a nice touch. Let's not sleep on it. Please lead on. Three range this dancer. I could like get places. Keep moving forward. Dreaming of victory for the people. God, it looks like Deirdre's the main unit. She should have been. Mm -hmm. What do you think about three range dancers? Do you think they're as broken as everyone makes them out to be? No. Absolute, absolutely not. I still think Azura and Penny have way, are way more dangerous than a three range dancer. Mm -hmm. Which way to go? Like, Azura gives an extra movement and possibly plus six to all stats, and Peony gives ground orders. Like, that's already pretty nuts on its own, but like a three range dancer doesn't seem that menacing. And especially from a dancer with 19, like 19 speed. And no defense. Sure, yeah, they. Yeah, because I remember the age old joke used to be Cav dancers would kill the, da the game, but now we have a Cav dancer, and I don't really see anything bad about it. I don't think there's anything that people are like, oh my god, this is the worst thing. And I'm like, no. No, we have Legendary Azura and Peony. That's the worst thing ever. But you know what's worse than one Legendary Azura? What? Two legendary Azura. Yep, two legendary Azuras and Ether Aids with the Ophelia that that just spams AoEs. <laughs> I never had an issue with Ophelia. My issue was always like the green mages. Sonia gave me a ton of trouble, especially when she got her refine. And who else? Nino would give me a problem. Really? Yeah, because, like, my main unit was Hector. Oh, so Nino right. was, Nino is a problem. I bet now... Uh, now nothing is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Which way to go? Please, lead on. Keep moving forward. 
Now all I do is I end turn with Hector and everyone dies. I go, you know, grab a glass of water, I come back, the map's over. My Abyssals, god. No problem. They made Hector such an enemy face unit. I mean, it's lore accurate. He is insanely strong in FE7. If Thanks. only said, if only said got the same treatment. Said Kaiba. Don't nod off now. Said. They should just change his name from said to sad. Said to sad. <laughs> oh, I wanted to pull on the the Heirs of Light banner to get said with pull smoke, but I don't have like any orbs, and I thought it was gonna be here for a longer, but no, it's just here for like a week, and I'm like shit. Yeah, I used my five tickets, and I got like every every single one of them was a three star. I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna sink any orbs into this banner. No thanks. I'm gonna be like, well, guess I gotta wait for for Set to come back next year. I didn't even pull for him. I pulled on Red because I was like, I'll take Steady Posture three or I'll take Close Call because those are both good skills. Which way to go? Jeez. Can quarantine the world? Probably. Yeah, that's a kill. That's exact damage, if my math is correct. Okay, my math is not correct. How much does she boost by when she hits back? I thought it was 30% of the enemy's attack. No, is it's 30% it? of her own attack. Ah, okay. Yep, there it is. So much power. Look at my hydro pump. like Corrin is looking at, at her and he's like who are you? And she goes, I'm you but sexier and in black. I'm you but colorless. <laughs> yeah, I never see the blue Corrin anywhere. Yep, he's a rarity. He's been on a few banners though, right? I think so. He's usually in for like the characters with like no follow-up or something. Mm-hmm. He was in pretty recently? Maybe like two months yeah, ago. Yeah, he was something. on a banner recently. Who do you think the next banner is going to be? That's always a fun discussion to have. The next banner? Like the next. New units banner. Oh, is there one coming up this month? Yeah, there should be. Usually after a seasonal, there's a new units one, right? Ooh, which game would it be then? I don't know. That's a good question. Because, like, we just got Genealogy. And then. There was the Brave and the Pirates before that, so we haven't really had, like... Would it be, like, FE6 again or something? That would be interesting. FE6 or what's another neglected? Not Thracia. neglected. We haven't had Thracia in a while, right? We had it earlier this year with Marita and Avel and Tanya. Oh, yeah, oh. it was them with the... They showed up with Peony? Oh, you know what? People are going to hate me for this. Tellius hasn't had its own banner in a while. No. <laughs> no, don't say that. They've only had seasonals, but they haven't had their own banner since the Canagus banner literally over a year ago. Oh no, you're right, people are going to get mad. Yeah, Tellius might be due. Binding Blade is also probably due, right? Their last banner was what, Green? Yeah, that was like earlier this year, right? I don't remember. I stopped playing for like six months, so the, all oh. those banners that came out are kind of blurry. Oh yeah, that must have been earlier this year. Yeah, I can see Binding Blade or maybe FE7 even. Has there FE7. been any new FE7 units? No, I don't think so. I think it. They might be right there. They might be. What are some characters from FE7 that you can see getting into the game? Oh, I would love an FE7 banner. FE7 is like my guilty pleasure Fire Emblem game. <sighs> it's like my second favorite one after Genealogy. Who would I want from FE7? You know, it was a big miss opportunity from FE7. The pirate banner should have had Dart and um, and Far Fargus on it. Ooh. I say ooh because I haven't played FE7 yet. 
What? You should play FE7. It's so much fun to play. Oswin. It, we need to have Oswin from FE7. And we need to have... Who, who do we need to have? What about a Grand Hero Battle Unit? I bet there's plenty of those that can show oh, up. Oh, there's so many from FE7 that you could have. You can literally have, like, Denning would be such a meme <laughs> to put on that banner as a Grand Hero Battle. Like, everyone would love that. Who else could we have? You could have Sonia. You could have Limstella. You could have, like, Jeremy and Kenneth. You can have... There's just so many GHBs that you can put from FE7. Darren. Oh, Nurgle. It has, Nurgle it has to be game. FE7 then. Yeah, Nurgle isn't even in the game. I wouldn't be surprised if they put Nurgle on the banner. <gasps> I have the feeling it just might be FE7 then. Cause Nurgle, that would be fun. Nurgle's like I would enjoy the that. main bad guy, right? He's like Yeah, he's not in the game. He's the final boss. Not the final boss, but like... The guy who causes everything to go to shit. Yep. And Athos isn't here yet. That would be a perfect ex excuse to put in like either a mythical or a legendary Athos. I feel like he might just be the. He could be a candidate for the the light mythic, the last light mythic, because there's one for the attack boost. Mm -hmm. What about I... Astra? Don't we still need the Astra res boost mythic? Oh my god, we need anything usable for Astra that isn't a melee unit. Like we need the res Astra and the speed Astra. Yeah. Any like make them range and they're they'll be superior to Naga and Altina. You won't have to carry dead weight with you. Yeah, I know. Astra, Astra is just... They, I just make them smite bots. I know. My Naga's a smite bot, and then Altina's just a... chill bot. Literally, like, a chill bot with just, like, chill attack on her. But, uh. Well, I think that's it for the, the Tempest Trial. I think we got our... concerns out of the way with the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think it was a fun discussion. We talked about a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, ooh, I, I especially like that banner discussion. Like, I really think it might be FE7's time to shine. Mm -hmm. I would be okay with that. I would like that. So yeah, everyone, go ahead and um, put in the comments what banner do you think should be up next? Which game deserves the most love? And why is it FE4? <laughs> yes, that's true. We should have more FE4 units in the game and more alts. I feel like just with this ult, whoops. With this ult, they they might just be like, okay, you guys can't ask for anything for three more years now. I'm like 100% sure we're not going to see anything FE4 related for another year. <laughs> They're like, you got your, your ults, now stop stop begging. You can have some more ults in another three and a half years. Now go away. They'll be like, here, have some Telly assaults. <laughs> Well, on that note, let's just wrap things up here. Thank you so much for joining me, Link. We had a very spirited discussion. Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me and inviting me on. And on this note, good luck with everyone today in your Tempest Trials. I hope they go all smoothly. And good luck in your summonings. I hope you get exactly who you wanted in the Dancer Banner. And I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.